Don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two newly released books, Football, A Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? These books feature over 100 stories from current and former coaches, players, executives, and entertainers from across the football landscape describing what got them involved in a game, what they love about it, and what life lessons the game taught them. You can find your copy or order your copy from our website at footballgameplan.com slash books. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing you our preview of the 2015 Foster Farms San Francisco Bowl between the Nebraska Cornhuskers and the UCLA Bruins. And we're going to start this video off by taking a look at my keys to victory. Starting with Nebraska in this ball game, I think they can lean on the ground game. I like Terrell Newby and what he brings to the table running the football. I think they can have success running against his UCLA Bruins defensive front. And they can't beat themselves with the turnovers, the missed opportunities inside the red zone, the penalties. Those things will get you beat in a bowl game, and they can't allow themselves to do that against UCLA. I think also defensively they have to win on first down. You want to make this a Josh Rosen versus Tommy Armstrong type game because you want Rosen to put the football up more often than UCLA wants to. He is a freshman, and you can find ways to influence him into bad decisions. And that ties right into the first point for UCLA. I think they can do that for Tommy Armstrong throwing into trap defenses, influencing him to make bad throws, and that way those corners and safeties can be in great position to make a play on the ball and get the ball back for their offense. Also, I believe they have to find ways to generate a pass rush. They got to disrupt the timing of the passing game of the Nebraska Cornhuskers, make that offense one-dimensional, and those Bruin wide receivers versus the Huskers defensive backs I think will be a great matchup. I love the talent on both sides of the ball for both UCLA and Nebraska. UCLA has to win that matchup more often than not. I like UCLA in this ballgame. I think this one will come down to who can play well situationally from the quarterback position. And right now, quite honestly, you have to trust a true freshman in Josh Rosen of UCLA to do so. So I like the Bruins to knock off the Cornhuskers in the Foster Farms Bowl tonight. And my X factor is going to be Paul Perkins for UCLA. Obviously, Josh Rosen had an outstanding season as a freshman going to Jordan Payton. And I think that they're still going to feed the ball to Paul Perkins. I think in this type of situation, they're going to use their running back to really uh, be the, the center piece of their offense. So my X factor is going to be Paul Perkins. Now, going against this Nebraska defense, Nebraska's defense is eighth in the country in stopping the run. So I think that despite that, UCLA is going to look to do what it is they do best, and that's run the football. But you look at what Nebraska brings to the table as far as in the middle. They have plenty of beef, folks. You, you look at their two defensive tackles. You have Vincent Valentine at 6'3", 320. He's somebody that's able to clog the, the rushing lanes. He's going to make it difficult for the offensive line to create holes for Paul Perkins. And then you also look at Malik Collins, a, another bigger a defensive tackle at 6'3", 300 pounds. So Nebraska has plenty of size up front. My X factor for Nebraska is going to be those two defensive tackles. In the end, I think that UCLA is going to win this game. I think it's going to be a close game. I have UCLA winning 20-17. to Now for UCLA's offense, I want to look at Jordan Payton, wide receiver. Big time guy, he should get uh, a play or two. He might even move himself up into a day two pick uh, with some quality playing play this bowl game. On the other side, Devin Fuller, wide receiver, who can probably get some looks as well. Jake Brindle, the center up front, blocking for this UCLA offense, should probably get some uh, burn as well. As far as Nebraska, let's look at what their strength has been for years and as their offensive lines. There's three guys to keep in mind Alex Lewis and Zach Sterrup are the outside guys. They're the tackles who will be protecting for Tommy Armstrong. And Ryan Reeves is the center who will get him the ball. These all three guys could be day three picks if they work out well. Now on the defensive side of the ball, this is where you usually see guys make the money for these two squads. There is an underclassman in Kenny Clark, defensive tackle at UCLA, who is probably a day one caliber pick. Uh, he has not announced yet as far as I know. So. Keep an eye out for him so you can see what he has to offer. Aaron Wallace, an outside linebacker for UCLA, he is a guy who plays active football. For the defense for Nebraska, Daniel Davey, quarterback. 
and Jonathan Rose, the, the op opposing quarterback. And there's some Cockrell, free safety for Nebraska. So their back end should be pretty stout. They should hold up pretty well. As far as the final score, I think UCLA just has a little bit too much talent, and they play angry for Jim Moore, getting him the third consecutive bowl win, 33-20.